Welcome back to One Crack News. It's your boy Carcino, and I'm going to get right to it. Um, it's a very serious charge that 6 9 is dealing with. We all know that. Um, I'm going to let you guys speak to one of my lawyers or hear from one of my lawyers, and they're going to explain to you how serious the charges are involving... Um, Takashi 69 and why you know this is an effective tool by the federal government and why the RICO was even you know invented in the first place you know uh, he's a cr criminal defense attorney I don't really need him but in case I do you know I'm good <laughs> um, let, I'm gonna let you listen in and let one of my lawyers tell you exactly what you need to know in this case as far as the statue and how it works and and now you'll know why um it's kind of hard for 6ix9ine to get out of jail on bond I'm a criminal defense attorney and i specialize in federal criminal defense and i'd like to talk to you for a few moments about something that a lot of people have heard of but may not understand exactly what it is and that's the federal rico statute uh, the RICO statute is a, a very effective tool that federal prosecutors use in any cases involving quote-unquote organized crime. And that doesn't simply mean what many people think of traditionally as organized crime, uh, meaning the mafia. Uh, the RICO statute is, is very effective in prosecuting gang-related crimes as well. And that's a big topic out here on Long Island. There are a lot of gangs and there's a lot of gang activity. And federal prosecutors have been prosecuting gang members under the RICO statute. If you are connected or have a loved one who is connected to one of the gangs out here on Long Island, you could quite easily find yourself entangled in a federal RICO indictment. Uh, the way that a RICO indictment is proven is the government shows that a member of a gang commits a crime to enhance or further their position within the gang. And that simply is enough to prove a RICO statute. So if you are or have a loved one who's associated with a gang, any gang activity that's committed the government will try and prove that that improves the standing of the defendant within the gang itself, promotes his position within the gang. It doesn't have to be money, and oftentimes it's not monetary. It's simply promoting your position within the gang, and that is enough to entangle you in a RICO statute that could uh, include everything from a conspiracy to commit a robbery to a conspiracy to commit a murder even if you're not the one who actually committed the crime so if you have a loved one or you yourself are a member of a gang and uh, you're aware that some other people around you have been arrested and charged in a federal prosecution it might behoove you to speak with a federal attorney and understand and be able to protect yourself against the possibility of being charged in a RICO indictment. If you have any further questions about All right, that's enough for my lawyer. Now, yes, my lawyer works out of New York, and if you want to hire my lawyer, I'll give you the information. Just ask for Carcino's lawyer. <laughs> I'll give you my lawyer's info. And you can go from there now only need the lawyer in case you know I, I don't get in situations where I need this lawyer that much but you know there was a situation that he worked for me once and that's all he needed to do and that's that so you're in the New York area you know, he works out of New York, so that's gonna help you out tremendously. Um, so just hit me up, you know, let me know if that's what you need.
Told you I'm always here. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Thanks for you know listening to One Crack News, and don't forget to subscribe so you can get caught up on all the information that you might you know get caught up on or want to hear. They coming hot and heavy, hot and heavy, baby. And oh yeah, Carcino for life is still rolling.